praying for us. And yeah, it wasn't me, folks. It was me. It's, it's usually me. I'm, I'm sure Colleen was no, going to He's at the helm again. Because I was messing with the headphones, and I hit a button by mistake. That's what it was. Well, you fixed yeah. it, though, brother. Good yeah. job. <laughs> okay, which button did you hit? I don't know. Trash. Okay, well, Heavenly Father, we just come before you. And, you know, I just look at this as a divine delay. We have our dear brother back in the studio, Tom from Pastoring in Eddyville. And good morning, Tom. Good morning. It's good to be here. And we have Scott Albright. I'm in Colleen's chair. <laughs> oh boy, we got some anointing oil here, folks. That's right. We have my brother Rob Dupra behind me. He's right good behind morning. me, man. And you recognize he's, my voice? He's got your so back. We just, uh, Lord, we just thank you for this morning. And we pray that uh, hopefully people tuned back in. Um, <laughs> or they were praying for us because we, for us. we yeah. were praying. We can't do nothing without prayer, folks. And uh, how wonderful. So that means we get to go a little over today then. Yeah, right? go yeah. for it. I don't care. So anyway, so Father, <laughs> we just thank you for this morning. We thank you for divine delays, Lord. There's, there's really no accidents in your economy. You already know things are going to happen before they happen. And so, Lord, thank you that we all just started praying and Scott got busy and we figured out what the problem was. And we thank you for that. And so we just uh, look forward to this morning and we uh, thank you that your presence not only dwells within us, those that call you are Lord and Savior, but you dwell among us. So we thank you for your presence here. Um, we love it, and we're excited to see how this half hour is going to go. Praise the Lord. Name, amen. I, I think there's an object lesson. I was listening from home once, and you guys were having all sorts of problems, and I, I helped through the That's background, right? right? And uh, you're all calm, and there's no reason to panic. I, I think of last Sunday when I was in the pulpit, and it just seemed like everything went wrong. And I guess it's just a matter of spiritual battle. It is. We're trying our hardest to proclaim the good news of, of Jesus Christ, that every person can be saved if you believe. And the devil hates that. Amen. He pushes back on us. And I've seen it time and time again. Absolutely. Well, you know, the Word says that we're no longer of this world. So if, we're, if you're a born-again believer in the Lord Jesus Christ, we are, we are ambassadors. We are sojourners. This earth is not our home. Now, Satan's power is limited, but it says that he is the prince of the power of the he earth. He hates this, us. We know this, that. Yep, this earth, the earth hates us. Well, we're, we're, you like what I love about the chosen in the beginning. You see all the fish yeah. going in a circle, and then one by one, they turn blue and go the other way. I love that. <laughs> Tom, I, you're, you're itching to say something. I well, can I, say. I haven't seen that. I haven't yeah. seen that. I, you know, that, I know that sounds kind of heretical because the chosen is so, so popular now. Yeah. Uh, but. Uh, I see a few YouTube videos on it, but I just haven't seen it. I'm, too, I'm so busy. My uh, daughter had a, our little granddaughter uh, just over a month ago. Congratulations. So we were going, I'm telling you, oh, we've praise just, the Lord. I forgot to add that in yeah. and everything else we've been doing. So, uh, wow. yeah, she's quite possibly the most darling and lovely baby <laughs> that has ever been born. I think it's positive. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Her name's Arabella Joe, and yeah. and I Dar Darabella? Arabella. Ara Arabella. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah. Yeah. So it's uh, it's, it, we've been busy, just busy, yeah. wild yeah. busy. Congratulations. Thank that you. That's awesome. Nothing like a grandbaby. What about you, Rob? How's 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 things I going? I didn't get a grandbaby. I feel I feel gypped. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I want to show you the pictures of Sarah, my my she uh, my middle daughter. Keeps yeah. sending pictures of. Layla, and it's just so wonderful. Yeah, putting all over her face. Yeah, 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 yeah. She got a little bump on her head yesterday, and yeah. so on Mondays I usually get one from uh, my daughter down in Sacramento, her son yeah. Mo, and uh, we call it Mo Mondays. You get a bump on the head from oh, her. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Praise well, the Lord so, for FaceTime. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know the technology is pretty wonderful. It is. It's like we have all data system at the shop I'm working at. You know, so you can go look up anything and wire schematics and everything. But you know. Like I was working on a, I was working on a V10 Ford yesterday, and it's like, oh, what's the firing order? And I wasn't sure which side was number one. Usually, when you're looking at any any kind of a V-shaped engine, whether it's a you know a V6 or a V8, one cylinder head will be just a little forward of the other cylinder head, and that always you can always tell that's number one side. And they were so close, I couldn't tell. So anyway, I just instead of going to all that, I just got on my phone, punched it in there, boom, it came up instantly. Okay, I knew what I was doing. But isn't so? Technology is pretty wonderful. Yeah. But we know ultimately that it will be used for uh, keep it control yeah, everybody. Yeah. So the the warning is don't don't rely on it completely. No. Rely on Jesus, who, right. yeah. who will never fail. Oh technology gosh, will fail. Just Our electricity it. will fail. Right. Yep. Our banks may fail. Right. 
<laughs> but Jesus will never fail. Right. No. His throne will never end. Well, and there's advantages to that internet also, like we were just talking about earlier, the amount of teachings that are out there. Oh. I mean, it, it, there's so much out there that you're just like, man, I don't even know who to listen to. But right? What, right. Well, when there's no teachings, right. will you well, be able then, to go to the Bible, to right. your book? I will. <laughs> I, I think that the internet, uh, we used to say this about the encyclopedia, but the internet is a fulfillment of Daniel 12.4 where it says, that knowledge will be increased. Oh boy! Oh my gosh! Yeah, and and so yeah, it's a uh, we're we're and we're about, in the end. How time. about AI? I mean, you talk about Star Trek and computer. What's okay. the logistics of this? Well, you know, right. I just came upon a thought when you were saying that. I vividly remember as a child having the encyclopedias. Oh yeah. And even though it was daunting, there was something about seeing that huge volume on the shelf, and then having to go pick it out, look it up, and then write it down in my own words when I was, I mean, as a kid. Right. And now, and, and I remember, yes, yeah, this is a little bit of work, but it was challenging and it was fun to look and you'd see all the pictures and all those things. But now, Google, you don't have that. So kids don't have that mental stimulation and the uh, patience to search something out and see. They, they, they don't know what they're missing. You know, the generations today are so soft. And you and learn it's, how to spell words. Yeah. You don't even know how to write. The dictionary. <laughs> Every word you know. And I'm a bad speller, man. I spent a lot of time in the dictionary. Now you get correction. It's like, oh, that's easy. I know. Okay. Auto-correct. I don't know how many times that's kept me from looking like an idiot. See? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> me too. It's like, and then sometimes it makes you look like an idiot because it puts the wrong word in there. Oh, You're man, like, amen. that's not what I said. <laughs> amen. Yeah. amen. I knew Oops. what I meant. <laughs> All right. Let's pray. What do you think? We get some prayer requests. Well, let's start with uh, let's start with at the top. Let's start with uh, praying for our country, and let's pray for President Trump. I know a lot of people out there really don't like Trump, Trump even in our our uh, our Christian group. But you know, he's a cowboy, and you know, whoever's going to be in is going to be in because God wants him there. But Father, we just come before you right now in the name of Jesus, um, and Lord, we just lift up right now our 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 inadequate president right now lord we pray for joe biden and his staff and nancy pelosi and all of these people that are moving and shaking or think that they're moving and shaking the world not realizing that their system is going to fail and it's going to fall we pray earnestly for their salvation lord we pray that, that your spirit would overshadow them all of the things that they've heard from their grandmothers from their parents from the me you know everybody lord that that those things would penetrate into their hearts and minds lord and they would see you that as long as they have the breath of life there is hope for them to be saved lord and lord with this indictment with president trump you know think whatever it may, may be with president trump i think he's awesome but uh, he is just a man and he does seem to have a heart for you and you know the attacks are so blatant and so um, just like Scott was saying earlier, um, so on purpose right now, and and I can't help but think of laughing when I was a kid, and Flip Wilson, and he'd run around saying, "The devil made me do it. The devil made me do it." So your word is pretty clear about not giving any place to the devil, but only enough to know that yeah, he's out there, he is attacking, he's doing all these things, and uh, but greater is he that is in us That's than right. he that is in the world. That's right. So we thank you for our governments. We thank you for all our leaders, starting at in Washington, trickling all the way down. Um, east to west, Lord, we lift up every state, every county. Um, we thank you that your spirit's moving. We thank you for the mighty prayer warriors all over the country and uh, the wonderful teaching that's out there and, and that your spirit is moving and yes. uniting. And Lord, so many things to pray for. So I'll shut up right now. We just give you all praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' name. Did you pray for your friend up in Washington? Oh, yeah, let's pray for them. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I get to keep going. Yeah. <laughs> so, Father, we lift up Brooke as we do continually. I pray for him every day. We thank you for his healing, and I need to make a few calls to see how he's doing. But, Lord, we thank you without a shadow of a doubt. As Colleen likes to pray, you know every molecule of his body. That's right. And even if you're only repairing him one molecule at a time or 10 <laughs> or a billion, um, Lord, you're doing it. You're, you're going to, you've got a, pur I know deep in my heart, as strong as ever, that you have a purpose yes. and a plan for that young man and his young family yep. and his babies do here, you know, in another month or so. Right. So uh, even though it sounds repetitive, Lord, we keep lifting them up before you because this is a prayer assignment that you have given, especially myself. And I want to lift up um, my friend here in town, Teresa and Bill, and Bill, who has lost his hearing. And they're going to Salem uh, Monday to uh, see a doctor. And, of course, Lord, I, I'm the ultimate optimist when it comes to your word, Lord. I pray for his healing completely. Yes. And, Lord, how you choose to do that, I know you're going to do it, Lord. So we're excited to see how you're going to work. And we just praise you and love you and thank you in Jesus' name. 
Amen. Scott, were you going to pray for these guys? You, you go for it. Well, I don't know who we're talking well, about. Well, uh, Patty Reed uh, called or texted, and right. she has some prayer requests for Celettes. Okay. <clears throat> so, so we're praying for uh, Patty's brother, Mike. He's yes. in the trauma center in Corvallis. Yes, Lord. And so, Lord, we just raise him up to you, Lord. We yes. just pray for your hand to be upon him. We pray for the nurses and the doctors that are around him, Lord, that you would go around him and prepare That's that right. way, that he would feel your presence, he would feel your hand, Lord, and that you would be in the mix. And, Lord, that you would heal him wholly and completely from whatever it is that he's in there for. Uh, Lord, we just raise him up and place him in your hands. We pray for the family that are going through this time as they don't know. Lord, may you just hold them and keep them and bless them. Uh, assure them that you've got them and that you are in charge. Uh, Lord, we raise up Reggie Butler's son uh, for spiritual battles. I don't know what that's about either, Lord. But, again, we just wade in and we mm, just ask you your hand to be in yes, it. Lord, and, Lord, yes, we Lord. raise him up to you and, yes, and place him in your hands knowing that you are the only one that can do anything yes, about Lord. any yes, of Lord. these things, Lord. Yes, that's Lord. right. Pray your hands on him and in him and through him. Yes, and then, Lord, we pray for the cops and the suicides and the drugs, uh, the whole thing for for our country, for our families. Uh, Lord, it's just it's just out of hand, you know. Yeah. Uh, this whole woke agenda is just out of control, Lord. Even in our Open schools eyes, in this little town, Lord, it's just ridiculous. And so, Lord, we just raise it up to you, Lord. We just pray for you to be in the mix. We pray for our country. We pray for our families, and we pray for your church, Lord. We just pray that you would come back soon and take us, Lord, and, and your will to be done. Lord, we just love you and we thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen, Lord. Amen. Amen. We pray for the one today, Lord, uh, across this universe, one conversion. And I'm sure there will be more, but hearts that would open, Lord. And yeah. we pray for key people to come to repentance, to come to believe, to have their eyes opened. And they yes, say, Father. wow, that's thank it. Yes, I'm not getting anywhere this way. Right. God, come into my life. So we pray for that sure. one today. Sure. We pray for the one in Lincoln yes. County who would do that. Maybe yes. even the one listening right now who would yes. open their heart to you and say, okay, I'm done with my own agenda. I want yours. Your will be done. Mm -hmm. And may your hand then be upon us, Lord. Amen. Amen. And Amen. you know, so I was thinking when you were praying, Cindy was reading something yesterday about some sheriff's department pretty big town pretty big state and the, one of the main people that like runs or oversees the police department was dealing in fentanyl Ugh. so father we just come against fentanyl oh jesus and lord Poison you know you're, you're, the, the agenda 31 the that you know jesus. we hear about that the, the elites want to eliminate people well you know they started with the with the shot and, you know, how many of our older generation did we lose because of that situation? And, Lord, now we see fentanyl just being spread all over and people dropping like flies because of this fentanyl thing, Lord. So we come against protection. that, Lord. We know protection. Um, the teaching that I heard and I was sharing earlier is that uh, the darker and crazier and wilder things get. Your word says really clear that the wheat Bar will grow up with the tares. Bar and so, Lord, we're growing right up alongside. So Go we see all this darkness, but in the exact same time, Lord, your spirit is rising. And as we were, as Rob was praying for the uh, schools and everything, Lord, continue. I see so many wonderful things where parents are going to school boards and they are standing up. Right. And Lord, as crazy as it is, there's some town or some state or town in, in the middle of the country that's got a heavy Muslim population, and that entire community went into that school board and just let them have it, Lord. So, you know, there is right and there is wrong, Lord, and anybody can see it. So we thank you that people are rising up, standing against this woke nonsense, coming against the tide of just stupidity, mm -hmm. and thank you that you're waking. And ultimately, Lord, it is about you. We pray for the salvation of many, many people. There are technically a lot of, of good uh, law-abiding citizens out there that don't yet know you, that are patriots, that love this country. Mm -hmm. um, and we just pray that their hearts would be turned to you ultimately, and they would be fully equipped for the battle that ensues us, Lord. So we give you all praise, glory, and honor that the battle is yours. Yes. The battle is already won, but we just get to be part of what you're yes, doing Lord. to win back the territory that the enemy is stealing mm -hmm. and has stolen. Yes, Lord. In but Jesus' Nashville name. And those families that have just went through that tragedy. Oh, my Lord, gosh, yeah. Just pray for them, that your peace would be them with them. We thank you for those police officers that responded so quickly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And did their thank job you, so Lord. well, Lord. We thank yes. you for creating them special and unique, that they were willing to run in and risk yes, their lives, yes, and they were yes. willing to take the life of that young girl, Lord. What a horrible thing to have yes, to Lord. do, Lord. Jesus. Yes. She was being evil, and Lord, Stop so they took evil, her out. Lord. So, Lord, 
Lord, we thank you Jesus for them. Name, we, we just come against give it. you all the glory and all the honor. We pray for those families. We pray for that community yes, Lord, yes, as they Lord. go through this time, Lord. And we pray for this country as we go through these. Help we continue us, to go through these losses with these demon Bring attacks. Lord, this demon Lord. is bringing these people in and shooting and killing and being no evil. Lord. Than you. We no just stand in the gap, and Lord, we call against it. And Lord, we just pray for your hand to be upon it, Lord. Save us. Save <laughs> us, Lord. Save us now. Yes. In Jesus' name. Well, that's what Dutch prays to save America. What does that's that mean? Right. And that means just that save spiritually, that God will oh. allow this country to finish what it started, and that's to promote the gospel to the entire world, and we're doing it. Amen. Father, we just uh, yeah. pray for those that are struggling yes. and finding peace. Yeah. They're looking for peace in all the wrong places. Yeah. <laughs> it's more than just a cliche. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the reason why we have the crises that we have is they're looking. people are looking for peace apart from Jesus that's Christ, right, and right. He right. is the apart Prince from, of Peace. That's right. He is the he only source it. of peace. He will provide and people it. can can have victory over the mm -hmm. things that are, are overwhelming them, the things yes, that are right. calling fear, calling fear, causing fear and anxiety. Yeah. Yeah. And Father, we pray in Jesus' name that people yes. would come to Christ. Amen. Yes. They Amen. would just come to Christ, Amen, that they would Lord. find Amen, peace Lord. in Him. Yes. Victory yes. over anxiety, right. victory yes. over depression, yes. victory yes. over sickness, yes. victory over the devils. We pray, Father, that you'd work mightily, that you're spirit would fall that you, you would Father. you would convict the world of sin righteousness <laughs> yes. and judgment to come yeah the, the time the time is short the time is indeed short yes. and, and lord we're looking forward to you oh, bursting sure. the sky yes. open and calling us up but, <laughs> yes, but yes, father we want to take as many people with us <laughs> and we right, just lord. pray that right. you would people you would right. work save and people, save lord. and save give children. people that peace that yes. that that you promise in yes. your word yes. father yes. that the fruit of the spirit is mm -hmm. one of the fruit is peace we just ask that, that you would meet that wonderful need, that powerful need that we all have in yeah. Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Amen. Ooh, you know what I was just saying when you were praying, Tom? <clears throat> that peace that surpasses understanding is like grounding. You know, if people don't have Jesus, when, when, the, the, when the electricity of the enemy hits you, it's got nowhere to go but it just fry you. But when you're grounded in Jesus, when the troubles and the cares of the world hit you, no matter what it is, man, yeah, you feel it and you react to it That's and you, you, you're emotional. That is. It immediately, that electricity goes through you. Yeah, you feel it and you feel the pain or you feel the, just like this shooting, you feel it. But man, if you're grounded to Jesus, it goes right back to him. I'm going to steal that and use it in a sermon. Dude, no, there's no, no copyright. <laughs> but think about this. Isn't that the truth? Every single one of us could literally, if God gave us the rest of the day, we could all sit here and tell you story after story after story of when when tornadoes hit our life, you know, oh, when gosh. the Not if, one, when, when right. the unthinkable happened, that it would shake us. But it's like, all right, Lord, I know you got me. Well, He gives us a shield of faith, and right, yeah. and with that shield of faith, we can quench all the fiery the, arrow, oh, the arrows that are shot Preach at us God. all the Preach time. It. Yeah, yeah. so I, I appreciate that analogy too. But I think of the shield of faith every morning now. Uh, it's taken a while for me to get it into this thick skull, but put on right. that breastplate of righteousness. Fill me up, Lord, with your spirit. Fill my heart. And then put on my armor. I put on my armor, right. the, the shield, the, the belt of truth, the feet shod with the gospels of peace. I think I'm hearing Colleen the, saying the helmet, right now. The helmet of salvation, the sword of the spirit, and that yeah. shield of faith. Yes, right. yes. Yeah. So he gives us the weapons to fight against the spiritual things, well, the, that, the battle. That reminds me of a story I heard. Of. It, was, it was a car accident. Telephone poles came down, and these electrical high-voltage cords were on this guy's car, oh, no. just charging the car, and you can hear it sizzling, oh, right? Man. And the guy's in the car, right? And he had his feet up, and, and the firemen with the loud horns are saying, don't touch anything metal, Oh no! you know, because you have, you have Thank the you insulation. So there's another analogy. You know, you could be <laughs> fried with... Some that that'll God. take you out in a split second, but if you're focused with the shield of faith on Jesus, well, it can't get to look you. At, look at that shooter, uh, and Jack Hibbs brought this up that that girl was intending to go to multiple right. facilities, right. and she got uh, unfortunately six people died. Right, uh, but they reached in there and were not afraid, and they eliminated that risk. Right, so we had a shield up, and so right. even though there was tragedy. It could have been a lot worse, yeah. and God protected and saved us from you know, something folks, worse. And it's it's not the guns, because now there's the big gun oh. thing. You know, oh man, it's the guns fault. You know, you could get rid of every single gun in this country. And to be honest with you, I, I I'd like that. I'd like that nobody had to have guns, but there's still going to be evil people with guns that are going to do. You you'd something. like swords into plowshares? Yeah, or yeah. how does that work? 
Well, there's always a way to get to somebody. There will be a time. Grab some and throw it. There will be a time when perfect peace, and you talked about King Jesus is here. I mean, uh, there, 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 there there won't be no need. So there is a. He's available now for people who will choose him, but there will be a time when he will be reigning on the earth. But until he is there, I'm not giving up my gun. Well, and that's what, (laughs) and that's what Jack Hibbs said is that we know that there is victory over evil, but will you be a part of that, or are you just sitting back on your isn't that great? I just saw something this morning that didn't really convict me, but it was like, you know, this person when we stand there, you know, and and it's not a numbers game. You know, it's like, I can't even tell you how many people I've led to the Lord. It's been a small number on a one-on-one basis. Believe it or not, I know I've, I've sp- spewed out a gazillion <laughs> seeds. But I think about that now as I'm gazillion getting older, seeds. every chance I get, you know, I try to do try something. To witness, yeah. yeah, like the lady this yeah. morning, I was getting my coffee. This is a funny one, too, and I love this. So, so she's sitting there, and she's like, um, oh, what is? how did she say it? She and, and it wasn't derogatory, but she said something about uh, something about God. Something about God, but it, it wasn't derogatory. But then I, I flipped it around. I said, "Yeah, God is good all the time," and it just threw her back, you know. <clears throat> and then it opened up a, con- a small conversation. Well, you are a seed sower. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, yeah. Just do it, folks. Bring the water. All, all your little part. Bring the water. Yeah. Who brings the harvest? <laughs> Christ, Christ. You know, the, the, it's just so fun. Oh man, we're almost out of time. Already. The world is making fun of prayer okay, right play. now. Uh, they're they're saying, uh, "What good are thoughts and prayers when children are dying?" And and so, well, I I had a response to it. I don't know if it was of the Lord. I felt like I got it when I was mowing the yard. You know how those kind of things can yeah, happen. Yeah. But but uh, I responded to somebody online. It's kind of debating, and they use these and the, these these uh, what good is thoughts and prayers right. if. If, if these kids are dying, I say, well, until men figure it out, until men have the humility and the compassion and the wisdom to figure it out, I'm going to keep praying until they do. Oh, that's good. And, and so I think, I believe me, I have, I am no intellectual. I, the, <laughs> the Lord just brought that is that, is that stop praying when, while men are running around in chaos and, right. and, and, and they're killing children and they're, and they're, uh, the fentanyl's crossing the border and all these oh. silly and awful. And, the sex traffic and trade is all, humongous. Oh, it's right. all over the place. And so I'm going to keep praying until until there's victory, mm-hmm. until right. men figure it out or mm-hmm. until Jesus comes. Mm-hmm. Well, I heard a statistic uh, just a day or two ago about there's more slavery in the entire world right now than there's ever been in all of human history. Of course, there's a lot more people. But, you know... It's just crazy. So we're we're at, we're at eight oh one right now. I think we can what? go just a few more. Well, you know, we had a little technical difficulty. I just looked at my clock. It was ten minutes ago. I know, huh? Isn't that wild? <laughs> we have so much fun here, folks. You know. So you're listening to ninety eight point seven KWPBLP, Newport, Oregon. There you Winds go. of so, praise. So now we're legal. You can go as long as you yeah, want. We can go as long as we want. Yeah. We we can do whatever. We had at least ten minutes. Thomas, so well, great well, to see you. Well, I'm, I'm so <laughs> glad to be here, and I really feel compelled to pray. I told you about the. The family that has a baby with heart troubles at right. uh, yeah, yeah. Barnbeckers now. Do you mind if I pray? Oh, oh for that well, family? let me think about this. <laughs> right. Yeah, go ahead, <laughs> Father. We bring James and Haley and and uh, and little Theo, their oldest son, yes, and Father. little Elijah. Thank you. Uh, you know their issues. You know where he's at in the hospital there. And we thank you that he's had victory over two heart surgeries yes, uh, in you, his Lord. five months he's been around. And and this last surgery, his recovery has been a struggle. They've had to go back in. And and, uh, and to um, seal up a hole that was in his heart, and mm. and and then while he's been recovering, he's had he's had uh, the rhinovirus and pneumonia, and this little five-year-old boy. But yet, Father, he keeps going. He keeps Thank fighting. You, he keeps going forward. And I just pray for strength for his mama. Yes. That a mo- for a mama to have to see that endure that, I pray for strength for Haley, and, and that she would trust and she would lean on you completely, and yes, strength Lord. for. For his daddy, James, Father, I just yeah. pray that they would, in the midst of all this horror, that they would just find their strength and their hope mm-hmm. in you and their healing for their son in the midst yes. of this. Father, we ask uh, that you've been, you are the God that provides, and we thank you for your provision That's in the right. midst of all this, yep. uh, and for jobs and for cars and for yes. in the midst Amen. of breakdowns and all these yes, these Lord. things. Life goes on when, you're, when your child's in the hospital, mm-hmm. and, and it's just, there's so many difficulties, and, and they can seem so inter insurmountable yes. bless them help them and we just ask for a complete and total victory over yes. this heart 
defect and diseases. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And I also oh, want to well. lift up the uh, the team from South Beach that's in yeah. Israel right, right now. Yeah, yeah. Lord, we pray that you'd cover them with your yeah, peace yes, and protection Lord. and that yeah. you'd provide a way for them to come home. Yeah. That, uh, Lord, you'd provide peace over Jerusalem. Yes, Lord. Peace over Jerusalem. That's yes, what your word Lord. says. And so we just ask for pray it in Jesus' Israel, name. Amen. That's right. all that stuff so, going on over there. So, Tom, while you were praying for that little boy, <laughs> I, the Lord showed me. Now, this isn't a thus saith the Lord, but this is just an impression I got that God's equipping that little boy's heart because it's going to be filled with so much love that Amen. He's going to give out. He's He's got to get His heart ready for the love oh. that is going to be poured out through that little boy. Praise God! Oh. Praise God! Isn't that neat? Yeah. God is so good, you guys. Yeah, no kidding. All right, I guess we should wrap it up. And His mercy endures forever. How long? Forever. How long is that, Scott? <laughs> you like to answer? I'm going to be you for a minute. Uh, well, how long is that? Forever. It's like we don't understand. How can God always be? Right. Nobody created Him. He's always been. I, know, I just there's just uh, who was, we, who is, and is to come. I mean, so what was He doing for a billion years? Before I don't he thought know. About us? Someday, maybe I'll know. I, 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 time has no reference there. Yeah, it's, He's it's outside not, of time. What's that like? He's right. outside it's of time. It says when we've been there ten thousand years, bright, shining as the sun, uh, we've no less days. Ten thousand years, you. Yeah. Oh no! Until <laughs> yes. when we first begun. But right. you will, you will be different. You'll be changed. Yeah, Makes my br- brain. Yeah, I hear Sydney. I Sydney's, going, Sydney's going. Sydney's going. Oh man, that'll yeah, be yeah, good. Okay. It's gonna be changed. Phew. Ernie's gonna talk for ten thousand years. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're gonna be singing. Well, yeah. Yeah. Hey, no, you know what? I got earplugs. I think. At least I, at least I talk about good stuff uh-huh. most of the time. You said God is good. I think That's you right. told somebody that That's earlier right. this morning or God yesterday. Is good. Yeah. And All it just time. blew her away because she wasn't used to somebody reacting right. that way. So we speak Jesus over you. We speak the name over, of Jesus. Over all of us. And you can have peace right, right now, this yeah. very this very moment, yeah. That's right. if you'd but receive it. You just ask right. for the Lord to say, right. forgive my sins, be my Savior. I turn away from my wicked right. ways. Yeah. And he answers. Mm-hmm. Seek him and he will and He will be found. That yeah. will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed, stayed on, on him. him. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Well, that's Hallelujah. what the cross was all about, folks. And we're coming up on Easter here. And so uh, really push into Jesus. Really watch the, watch the Passion. If you've never watched it, if you haven't watched it in a few years, watch it again. Because every human being needs to see that. Ouch. Anyway. So, okay, we can, just, we can just keep going. So it's 8.05, 52 seconds. Again, you've been listening to 98.7 KWPBLP, Newport, Oregon. We will be back here. Well, I won't. I'll be in Washington, but uh, we will be back here at 7.30. And, and Colleen's gone. we we yeah. got to remind people that she's out for eight weeks now. Eight weeks. Seven weeks now. So still tune in, please. Yeah. So you know, we don't have her great voice, but she's pretty. Well, she was on the air the other day. So yeah, I'm we sure have her on the air. We're, we're going to call her here now and then to make sure we don't forget what she sounds like. So, and we won't because we know she's praying she's probably listening we love you Colleen we do love you uh, Colleen and as always folks uh, again um, we'll be back here on Tuesdays and Fridays 7.30 I won't be in on Mondays for a couple more weeks because i got to go to Washington but until then go out there and give them heaven give them heaven <laughs>